welcome back, it's Slider Havoc here, and we are back on the Revenge of the Sea Team server. And as you can see, we got a cute little farm going, not too much. I didn't want to get too much done in the uh, in the meantime, but I did get a couple things like prepped and ready for today's episode. Um, as you can see, I've also got a cute little area here I set up, kind of changed my building around a little bit, because I think I want to have like a little area where we do our circle magic, and so I thought I would design one. And there'll be more to come, but for right now, this is like the the idea, I guess you would say. Um, yeah, but I, I want to jump right into it. Like, I want to get going on it. And I know one of the first things we're going to need to do is make a witch's oven, because I know we're going to need fumes and stuff like that. So I did bring a little chest over here. So, whoa, wrong one. There we go. A um, whole bunch of coal. I uh, got some clay jars and stuff like that already cooked up. I uh, got some saplings set up or whatever. You know, the saplings that I did have, I brought them over. And the only problem is I don't know if I have enough material on me. Oh, no, I do. Cool. Um, to make the witch's oven, which is the first thing I want to make. Like I said, I grabbed as much as stuff as I could uh, to get started. And then uh, get a few things. Okay, so I'm going to need five iron and two iron bars. Which I think I have. I've got one, two, three, four, five. And iron bars. One, two. So this I should be able to make up quite simply like so. I don't need a helmet. I need a witch's oven. Yay! Oh man, I am so excited to get going on this freaking uh, witchery stuff. Like, oh, it's been so long. Um, you know, I do believe I can actually uh, add something onto this. I believe I can do the first one. Uh, which is a fume hood. It just makes the... Okay, that's a filter. This is a regular one. Okay. Uh, bucket of lava. Two, four buckets of glowstone. A couple iron blocks and iron bars. I don't think I have glowstone on me. I don't. So we'll go back and get that. Because that's just going to make things go a little bit faster. And uh, we can get going on this a little bit quicker. But I want to... I want to get like at least one like maybe... I don't know. Uh, circle magic spell done or something like that. Do I have any more cook? Yes, I did. Haha. -ha. Um, like one more circle magic, uh, one circle magic spell done today because I thought that would be really, really fun. And yeah, pickles. How you doing, pickles? All right. So what did I need? I needed some glowstone. Not flowstone. I need glowstone. So grab uh, four of those. And then I needed buckets, didn't I? Um, do I have any buckets in here? I have two. And if I remember correctly, I already had one bucket of lava in the uh, the chest. So let me make two more of these, like so. And yeah, like I'm just do I'm diving right in. I there's there's no, you know, preemptive oh iron blocks. Um, yeah, I can make iron blocks, so we're good. Uh, no, no preempted spiel under what we're doing today. Dude, we're just diving right in, man. I am really pumped up about this witchery stuff, and uh, I'm definitely going to be setting up some stuff uh, with some of the guys to get on the server. That way, I know I can go steal their tag locks because, well, they usually hide from me. Once witchery comes into play, most of the guys will hide from me uh, because they know I absolutely love witchery, and I love to mess with people on witchery. And, you know, it's... I mean, there's only so much you can do with the, the mobs in the overworld that's entertaining, and I think it's a lot more entertaining to, you know, mess with uh, my friends and stuff like that. So, do that, and I hate when I do that. There we go. And there we go. All right, so, if, oh, wait, I need to make the glowstone here. And what was the recipe for that? Glowstone in the middle, bucket on top, bar on the bottom. Okay, so, middle, top bottom you two there and was it like that wait what am i missing oh it was buckets there we go that's why i have these there we go and we got the filter and i know i can either put this on top or on the side i'm not sure let's see well that just kind of looks simple i think it looks really really cool if i remember correctly when it's on the side yeah, it just kind of looks a little spiffy. Looks like there's a little bit more going on there. So I'm going to go ahead and start with some oak saplings here. And we're going to need some coal. And I'm going to need some of these jars, which I already got uh, like a whole bunch of them. So we get started with our oak saplings. Uh, put our jars in there and then start cooking. 
And then hopefully we'll get, if I remember the the first one from Oak Island, I think it's like Foul Fume or something like that. Um, oh, wait. It's Oak Island that gave me Foul Fume, right? And Wood Ash is a byproduct. Wait, hold on. I I know Oak Island gives me something. Um, what do I need? Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, oh. Horned, exiled of the Horned One. Okay, apparently that's what we get. Um, I guess it's a, a chance. That's right. We need to make the uh, fume book. When oh, it's right there. Uh, I didn't get a fume book with that uh, in the little city or whatever, but I did get everything else. So I need a book, a feather, a uh, black dye, some charcoal, and belladonna flower. So let's go grab all of that real quick. Belladonna flower, and I'll replant those seeds. And then I'm gonna need uh, charcoal, black dye, and a book. Okay, cool. We got this. Oh yeah, and a feather. Can't forget the feather. Because I want to get going on the fumes! It's been so long since I messed with that I don't actually remember exactly uh, what I need to get started, but I remember the items. And I wrote myself a list of stuff that I wanted to make today. Oh, I'm like all over the place. And I know that that was one of them, obviously. So, um, I know I've got a book. There we go. And I need a feather, which I've got. And how about charcoal? Do I, ha I have no charcoal. Mm. But I know I have wood or iron somewhere. I don't have... Any, oh, there we go. I have one piece of birch wood. That's awesome. Um, and uh, dye? Oh, I have ink sacks, I think. Yes, I do have ink sacks. So that should be everything, right? Uh, feather, this will be the charcoal. That's the ink sack. That's the book. That's the belladonna. And yeah, mm. that's everything. And oh, do I not grab that? Why did I put that in there? I don't know. Um, I still have furnaces up here. I believe. Yeah, I do. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and throw that guy in there in the marked charcoal. And we'll be able to make our fumes book. And then we'll be able to uh, check out a couple of the fumes that we want to make. And maybe, you know, I think we'll be able to do the altar today too. Um, I think I need the altar for uh, circle magic anyways for power. So that'll work really, really well. And there we go. There's that. Charcoal is on the bottom. Ink sack on the side. Did I remember this correctly? Yes! Collecting fumes. All right. Uh, foul fumes, sapling. Okay, so it tells me which each one gives me. Oak gives me exiled uh, breath of the goddess, hint of rebirth, whiff of magic, odor of purity, reek of misfortune. Okay, cool. And it was only three pages. That's That's this whole book. I wasted all that just to know what each one did, when I could just put them in the freaking oven and find... Man. Mm. Well, it's okay. We've got the book now. So, I think I've got a complete set of the witchery books. Um, well, there might be more. Like I said, I don't know what was added in um, in the most recent updates of the mod. So, that'll be something we'll check out for sure. But uh, I know I've got a basic of the books because I've got one for Circle Magic already. I now have the fumes that we just made. And there's a couple other books in there that uh, we had. So fumes, oh, do this, and uh, circle magic, distilling. Oh yeah, distillery, and collecting fumes, circle magic, and oh, bruise and infusions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then bruise. Oh, that's right. There is a new way to do um, uh, brewing now. I think the kettle still plays. I b I believe the kettle still. Get out of here. I believe the kettle still plays. But I know that what we got to do to make a, a cauldron, a witch's cauldron, is this and then um, anointed paste. And if I remember correctly, it's uh, belladonna seeds, uh, water artichoke seed. Let me re. I don't want to plant that. Um, snowbell seed and. Um, one of those. I believe it's all those. Let me see. So it's you, 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 and you. It's like the basic four. Yes, and it gives us an anointing paste. And then if we just set our cauldron down, like so, and do a little tappy tap with the anointing paste, yes, we get the witch's cauldron, which is awesome. Um, I don't know where I want to set up the cauldron. I think I kind of want to set it up here by the magic stuff or uh, by the circle because I believe the cauldron will eventually need power as well. 
um, from the altar and I usually do my altar inside of the circle so I'm thinking for right now we'll go ahead and put you right here and then I'm gonna need a fire so I'm gonna need to go get some nether rack uh, so I can do some fire do I have any randomly do I have any nether rack on me uh, I don't see any so we're gonna go get that like I know this seems kind of like I'm all over the place right now but I do have a plan I, I, I've got all these little things written down that I want to that I need to make and want to make and uh, the reason I want the cauldron right now is because I want to be able to make uh, mutandas so we can get all the saplings and stuff we need and all the fun of the witchery stuff that you can only get with mutandas which uh, mutates grass or you know saplings and stuff like that into other items and it's the only way to get some of the witchery stuff like Spanish moss and all that so uh, nether rack there we go. Thank you. And Mutandus. Mutandus. What do I need for Mutandus? Mutandus is made with Exalted Hornwood. Cool. That's the one we already made. And then Mandrake Root, which I have some of. And eggs. I think I'm carrying some on me. I am not carrying on me. But I can grab some. Okay. Uh, let's just grab them all. Why not? Why not have them all? And uh, do I have a flint and steel on me? I do not have a flint and steel. Do I have one in here? I do have one right there, though. Cool. So, we've got everything we need to get that guy going. <coughs> and then we should be able to get the mutandus, and we should be able to get our saplings and stuff like that, and get all that fun stuff started. Oh, yeah. Oh, good grief, good grief, good grief. Whoa, I, it is so fast in here with these uh, concrete blocks. And I'm already moving at 150%. So it's like zip, zip, zip while you're in there. Um, let's see. So I do have X out of the horn one made, right? Okay, we've got 13 of those. Sweet. Do I have... I hate when I want to my hands. Um, let's make a little bit more of that because it's the only one I've seen so far. And I can always get a ton of oak saplings, so that's not an issue. And then we'll come out here. Oh, look, I put it right there. That's like kind of like a perfect little spot, actually. And we'll put the nether rack down here. And flint and steel, light that bad boy up. Cool. And let's just cover this up so it doesn't do anything. Cool. And I've got water, right? Does this fill it? Oh, it does. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, so what was the other one? I needed mandrake root to make this mutanda stuff. And, oh, you know what? I think I already have some from when I was farming earlier. Yes, I do. I've got four of them. Oh, and I had one on me right there. Cool. All right, so we're going to stand in front of our little potty pot here and throw in one mandrake root, one egg, and one eggs out of the horned one. And we should see, all right, we got some cool particle effects going on here. We're, uh on the right path but nothing seems to oh there it is okay sweet we have mutandas all right um oh wrong one so let's try that again we're gonna throw some mandrake root an egg and an exile of the horned one and get that going come on come on come on come on come on i i, I there we go i was like i see these particle effects but i don't know if they're the right particle effects Cause you know, any whoa, hey, get back here. Um, hey, stop the nonsense. All right, you, you, and you. We'll get a little bit more of this mutandas. We've got twelve so far. Uh, can I do? I got two more of those. Yeah, we'll do as much as we can, because sometimes you don't always get the saplings or the the item that you want. So it's good to probably have as much as possible. Uh, that way we can uh, get it because I know we need like three different saplings because there's three different wood saplings and I definitely want Spanish moss so we can make some poppets uh, to have fun with some tag locks and all that fun stuff wait oh, well, that was weird delayed reaction hey I see you dude I see you creeping up what are you doing I saw you back off it's my territory homie all right, so we got 30 of these, so that should be a good start. So do a little right click. Uh, Dark Oak Sapling I don't need. Spruce Sapling I don't need. Poppy. Rowan Sapling. Sweet. 
All right, so we got one of them. Don't need oak. I don't need mushroom. I don't need acacia wood. I already got a rowan, a lily, ember moss. Um, do I still have? Do I? Do I have uh, shears? On me? I do have shears on me. I think. Oh wow, I had shears on me. Um, sweet. I can pick up the ember moss with shears. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And coat, spruce, acacia, hawthorn. Oh, man. Oh, smash moss. Cool. That's why I had the shears on me because I knew I was going to need to get that stuff. And Mount Birch, spruce, rowan, grass, jungle, grass, dark, spruce, acacia. Ooh, glintweed. I know we'll probably need some of that eventually. I uh, don't need any more ember moss. Okay. Well, I got one of the saplings. I, I could have had two. Yes, we all saw that I had the other one there, but I could have had two, but I only got one, but it's okay. What the heck is this? Textile garden? Why have I never seen this before? Cotton? I have never seen that before, but we'll go ahead and plant our first witchery tree. Hey, get back here. I'm going to put them over here on the edge of the water just so it grows there. All pretty like, and, um, what I might do right now is I might make up some more mutandus, and then that way um, I don't want to spend a lot of time sitting there and just, you know, click, ah, eh, oh, well, I got, you know what, I can get more of these. Okay, here we go. Oh, you annoying little son of a gun. Fortunately, I don't get, like, you know, any type of poison effects and stuff like that, or potion effects, because I'm a robot, so they don't really bother me all that much, so that's kind of funny. Um, Mendrick, let's go replant these. There we go, and we can go make some more moss, or uh, not moss, but, oh yeah, you know what? Let me take that moss, and I want to throw you up here on the side of the building so you start growing. What are you doing, Mr. Spider? I know you're friendly right now, but I just don't like you hanging out by my house. Wow, this is all beat up. Do I have, like, a freaking swarm of endermen around here somewhere? I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and uh, do a little bit more Spanish moss. Because I want to try to get the other saplings. I want to get all this stuff situated. Because I believe... Again, really. Um, I believe that to make the altar, I need one of the woods. So while that's actually going, I'm going to look up the altar real quick. Um, these little stones. Is that it? Altar stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I need... Oh, Rowan wood. Cool. And then Exile of the Horn one. Uh, Breath of the Goddess. A water bottle. And stone bricks. Okay, cool. We can definitely do that. Definitely can do that. And you, you, and you. Uh, why didn't you go in? Why are you not accepting the egg here? What is going on here? Okay. Apparently missed one of them. But that worked, so cool. So we'll get a little bit more of this Mutandas here. All right, and throw you in, you in, and you in. Okay, there we go. And there we go. And hopefully with these other, about 18 of these moths, I think I'm getting six per. Um, sweet. Hopefully we will get, don't need the blint wheat. You know what, I'm not gonna break it though. Rowan sapling, poppy, hawthorn sapling, there we go. And then the what other ones? What alder? Ooh, more stuff. Huh? Okay, shut. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Last one. Oh, man. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a real quick uh, pause right here. I'm gonna make up some more mutandus, and um, hopefully I can get that alder sapling, and that way I have all the woods, and we don't have to worry about that again. So I'll be back. All right, guys. Well, I'm back, and uh, let me tell you, I just said forget about it for right now because I just spent, I don't even know how long, I just spent trying to get those stinking, um, uh, the Alderwood, and I, ow, well, you're annoying. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I marked some of the trees. I did plant a couple, um, did a little bit of bone meal and stuff like that. Oh, hey, I left you over here. I've been trying and trying and trying to get more, um, or, you know, the Alderwood saplings, but just could not 
um, get one. I would, very, very bad luck. But, oh yeah, I left one of these over here too. Figure, I know I'm going to need these eventually, right? And uh, these ones, what is that? Oh, it's orberry bush. Uh, these ones, I believe, like, they respawn on their own. Or not respawn, but, like, they kind of grow out on their own. So I'm just going to kind of place a couple of these around here. Well, it's Spanish moss. I'm going to put it over here because I think it would just look cool dripping from the building. And this glint weed I'm going to put over here. Because I believe these, like, kind of grow on their own. And they kind of spread. And so do these. So I'm going to let those do their thing. And, uh, yeah. So, I want to... Oh, I need more bone meal. That's what I need. Because I need the wood. Um, do I have bones? I know I've got bones right there somewhere, right? I got nine bones. Cool. Because I need the, uh, rowan wood for that altar. So I'm going to go ahead and do you. And, wow. I don't even have an axe on me, do I? No, I do not. Alright. No big deal. We can go back to old school punching wood. Do I have an axe? I have an axe. I have to have an axe, right? And all the stuff I carry on me, I have to have an axe. What is that? Oh, yeah, the little boss one. Um, axe, 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 axe. I don't see one anywhere. Well, oh, you know what? I've got freaking iron. And I just punched some wood. So let's do this. And give myself an axe just to be a little bit quicker about it. Because that would be kind of ridiculous to wait on punching wood at this stage. Alright, there we go. So we'll get some more saplings, hopefully. Oh, wow. That was quite a few saplings. Sweet. Wow, that was a lot of saplings, actually. Um, that was kind of crazy. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Oh, no, I want to keep the bone meal, but I don't need the flint steel. There we go. Wow, 12 saplings. Wow. That was actually pretty cool. There we go. Get out of here. These are annoying. All right. And this should give me enough wood to do the altar. And then also, oh, rowan berries. I remember getting those in a chest one time. I did not know what they were for. And now I realize that they're for... Well, obviously the rowan tree, which makes kind of sense. Um, do you guys... Can you bow meal? I've just I've never tried. Nope. Okay. So we're going to go do the altar. Oh, I need to go get some stone. Uh, we'll just go back and get some stone from the house. Because what was the recipe on the altar? It's uh, two rowan, glass water, and then four stone bricks. Cool. So I need to make... I need to get some glass anyways to make up some glass bottles. And we can do this. We can definitely do this. And wait, does this give me three? Yeah, it gives me three. And I need six total, so I actually need to make two glass bottles. We'll have two glass bottles. Um, glass. I got some glass right there. One, two, three. Oh, and I need stone. A regular stone. Yes, I do. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, I think I had stone brick. Uh, mossy stone. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Cool. Unnecessary to even make those. All right, cool. And I don't have those on me, but I can do these. This gives me a couple, right? Yeah, it gives me three. Sweet. And I'm just going to run upstairs Oops. and just fill them from here. I've not got a water thing right here. Yep. What the? Oh, my God. I saw that witch's statue, and I was like, I got a witch in here? How did that happen? Um, yeah, that would have been interesting. Can I... Can I get you from here? Yes, there we go. Okay, cool. And now back to Witchery Land. I need to think of a fun name for it, right? I mean, like Disneyland. Disney, oh, good old Walt. Walt E. Disney made Disneyland. And Slatterland does not make sense. Havoc Land could make sense. We call Witchery, our Witcher area Havoc Land, which I guess is kind of like my last name. And here we go. Um, oh, yes. I need Breath of the Goddess, which I think I put some in here. I guess I did. So I need two of those. And Exile the Horned One. No, that's Clay Jar. Where? Oh, there it is. And two of those. And let's see if I got it. Did I do it right? Did I, for the first time ever, get everything done right the very first time? 
you, Water, and Rowan. Yes. Okay, there's those. One more Water, and there's those. Okay, cool. All right. So we're going to go set up our altar in the middle. It's not going to have much going on in the very beginning because it's not going to have any power. But we might... Um, okay, so I know if that's the middle, then my altar is going to go, like, right... Well, where do I want it? I want it on this side. And because I want it as close to that as possible. <coughs> there we go. Cool. We got it. We got it done right. Okay. We don't have a lot of power. Um, we've got 488 power. Now, I know if we plant, like, you know, leaves and, you know, or like, like you know, vegetation, like stuff, or whatever, that increases power. And that'd be awesome. Um, oh, you know what? I think I can make a couple of items, like the candelabra. I think I can make that or the chalice. I want to make a couple items. I just want to get the power up as much as possible right off the bat because, well, heck, why not, right? And uh, I've got, you know, I've got all the stuff to get started. Ooh, ooh, the hawthorn tree is pretty. It's a big guy. All right, I'll have to remember that. Um, there, I know there's a couple things. Like, you can put a knife on there. Um, you can put a chalice on there, and eventually you can fill it with something. You can put the candelabra on there, and when I go to the end, I can get the uh, the dragon's egg and put that on there. Uh, let's see. At witchery, um, there's a couple items I know I can put on there to increase the power and the speed of charge and a heart. Interesting. Um, where is it? Okay, there it is. Okay, so we got the candelabra. Which is, ooh, can I make that? Okay, that's easy. Oh, Whiff of Magic. Um, from the Rowan Wood. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We can definitely do that. Um, so that's the Chalice. And then the Candelabra needs one of those two. Okay, that's Gold Nuggets and Gold. That's Iron and Torches. Um, where is that little knife at? A little gold knife. A Sun Grenade? Oh, man, there's so much I don't know about that I need to learn about. Um... Where is that little gold knife? I can't remember. Arthana. That's what the thing's called. An Arthana. Ooh, what's that? A silver sword. Two times unblockable damage against werewolves. Oh, werewolves? Wait. Oh, there's the Arthana. Werewolves. Uh, emeralds. Okay. Do I have any emeralds? I have no emeralds. I'm going to have to go make a trade to make that. But I can definitely do the others. I can do the others. So... I need some torches. I'm going to need the three torches. And I'm going to need, um, I think it was diamonds, yeah. So let me grab a couple diamonds. I'll just take a, a whole bunch of other for right now. Um, pickles, get out of my screen. Um, gold, I was going to need. I've got, I'll just grab all the nuggets then. And then, um, well, I can just make a gold bar. Well, I can just go get gold from the other area. And iron I have. Okay, so we're good there. And maybe we can get our first set of chalk done? I don't know. We're, we're creeping up on half an hour right now. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get all of that done. But, okay, gold. Yeah, we'll just grab it. My inventory fills up so fast. Let me get some. I don't need you. I don't need the leaves. Um, I don't need the iron bars. I don't need the snowball. I don't need the flint and steel. Um, I don't need the stone. I don't need that or sticks or that. Okay, that's a little less clustered now, right? A little less clustered. And let's head back. I'm definitely going to need a quicker way, and I know eventually I can teleport using witchery, so it'll be quicker to get back and forth between, like, here and there, which will be nice. But for the time being, I mean, these little uh, teleport plates are working just fine. Except the one over here only has so much power I'm gonna have to go take the the block under it and go charge it up again soon um, okay so they do spread that's good that's good to know yep they both did okay cool and how did I make that a uh, tune stone thing spectral stone oh my gosh there's so much stuff I know nothing about that I need to learn about um, but I want to make okay so it was the chalice Gets us a tune stone. So it's Whiff of Magic, a Diamond, and a Lava Bucket. That I can do really, really easily. Um, man, every time I open my hand. Um, so we're going to throw some Rowan saplings in there. Oh, wait. Where's the rest of those? Oh, there they are. All right. 
Um, Rowan, Rowan, there you go. Get this wood ash out of there. Rowan berries can go in there. Rowan wood can go in there. And hopefully I can get a couple of these whiff of magics. Do I have a bucket? Or is my bucket here? Where's that bucket? I can just make a bucket, I guess. Um, I know I had one. I had one on me somewhere. There it is. All right. So if I turn you to lava, right? Where did my? Did I just move it to the bottom of the chest? Did I do that again? Oh my goodness! Why? 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 Why do I do that? Um. So collect you real quick. Did we get any whiff? Yes, we did. Okay, cool. So if it was a whiff of magic, a diamond, and a lava bucket. Yes, okay, those are really cheap to make, actually. That's not too shabby, actually. Um, especially since I can just walk around with lava on me, so. I'll take that any day. Diamond, whiff of magic, lava bucket. Okay, now we got two of those. And oh, I can't shift click in this. Uh, gold nuggets and gold. That's easy. Uh, gold, gold. Gold nuggets, gold nuggets. And the attune stone. There's the chalice. And then the other one, let's see if I can remember this. It was torches, iron, and the attune stone. Oh, I did it right. Cool. All right, cool. So let's go see if this increases some power. And then I might come plant some trees around here too. See how that works. Um, okay, candelabra. Plop you right there. Oh, I got a shift on it. Yes. Oh, that looks really cool. Okay, that says times three now. So maybe that did something to that. What if I do you? Okay, that like doubled you. You're up to like 976 now. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. So apparently this one, I don't know if it speeds up the refill time on the altar. And then this one doubles it. But I can't make that Arthana right now because I don't have any emeralds. But can I make the chalk? Can we do like our very first one um, with gold chalk? Gold chalk. White chalk, a gold nugget, and mandrake. I can do that. So how to make it the white chalk? Uh, Tear the goddess with wood ash and gypsum. Gypsum is from the distillery. All right. So you know what? I think we'll go ahead and get into that next time. I think we got a good start on it. We've got our altar up. Uh, we've got hey 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 hey. Don't you be blowing up my altar, stinking son of a gun. Um. Hey. Whoa. What the frick is a creeper professor out here? What's going on? Uh, but yeah, so we've got, you know, we've got our tree saplings going and we've got our altar going and we've got our, you guys are just crazy. I think there was a change in one of the updates or whatever. I seem to see skeletons in Flan's armor a lot. I don't know if that was one of the changes or not, but I seem to be seeing a lot. And that is a really cool looking tree, by the way. That's a cool looking tree. But uh, in the meantime, I'm probably going to make a whole bunch more. Wow. Those things really spread quickly. Um, I'm going to keep trying to get the uh, alder saplings so I can have all three saplings and uh, I'll probably get some wood and some more saplings so we can get some of the fumes going but I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here uh, I think it was a good uh, a good start we've got our cauldron um, we didn't get any you know specific magic done but well I don't want to go too much longer I don't but okay hold on we can do this chalk stuff. We can do the distillery. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Getting a, a lot done in one episode here. Uh, distillery. And I know this one gets better. Okay, so I need another one of those attune stones. Two clay jars, iron, and gold. Okay, that's cheap. I can definitely do that. I just need to get some more whiff of magic here. Wow. Those yielded a lot higher than I thought they were going to. Okay. Um, I only need one. And I've got the diamond. And let me just get... Uh, bucket of lava here all right um you you and you i right, got the stone and then it was what this and something like this and this and so wh what am i doing here just clicking all over the place huh um no that wasn't right what was the, what was the recipe oh it's clay jars three and two gold that was yeah a little bit cheaper i guess in that aspect um uh, and oh, I don't have the clay jars on me. Uh, empty clay jars. There we go. One, two. 
All right, let's try that again. So clay jars, iron bars, a tune stone, and gold. Okay, cool. And this guy right here, um, I think I'm going to put him somewhere. But I need it to be close to power two, I believe. I believe the distillery gets powered by the altar. And so maybe this will be like our distillery area of here. I am going to eventually turn these into rooms. So this eventually will be my distillery area. I just want to see if it's actually going to get power. Um, okay, cool. So it got power. And um, I was trying to make gypsum. And how did I make gypsum? Um, uh, what was I trying to make? Oh, chalk. That's right, chalk. All right, so we've got chalk. I need to make this gypsum. Oh, and tier of goddess. How was that made? That is made from Breath of Goddess and Lapis and Clay Jars. Oh, and that gives us a lot of stuff, too. Okay. Uh, Breath of Goddess is the one from the Birch Trees, which I have. Cool. And um, the Gypsum Oil of Vitriol. Okay. Foul Fumes. Foul Fumes comes from doing woods. Okay. Okay. Or the Distillery will give me Foul Fumes, too. Oh, okay. So if I make that one, I'll get the Foul Fumes. And then, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We can do this. We can definitely do this. But I need to go get some lapis. We can do this. And then I've got plenty of clay jars. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Witchery is, like, so... There's so much to do. And, like, little intricacies that all kind of work together. That just make it so much fun. What am I doing? I'm, like, stuck. My mouse. Okay, there we go. Hey, 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 hey. I don't use a lot of lapis, but every so often I do. Oh, no, I got plenty. Okay. Uh, let's just grab a stack. I don't want to grab all of it. It's crazy when to do that. And lapis. Okay, cool. So we're going to throw a whole bunch of clay jars in there. And there was something else I need to add. What was it? Oh, um. What was it? Oh. The birch one. The birth of the goddess. Or breath of the goddess. Yes. Oh man, I am like I, uh, I get I'm getting shaky. I really do get shaky because I have so much fun, and it's like I'm trying to keep a train of thought because I am recording and you guys are watching stuff like that. You know, I want to do this organized, but it's like so much I want to get done that it's kind of crazy. Uh, Breath of the Goddess. There we go. Okay, so we'll take you over here, and this should give us what we need. Um, Breath of the Goddess. Oh, I can't just shift click. I'm in. Oh, I need clay jars. Regular clay jars. All right, there we go. Some regular clay jars. Hey, hey. Okay. You go there, and the lapis goes there, and they should start cooking, right? Yes. Okay, cool. So we've got it. And then this will give me the foul fume, which I could use to make the gypsum. Oh, no, it's the tear of the goddess. That's what I do. I'm getting the tear of the goddess, but I will get foul fume out of it. And um, to make the gypsum, I need falfium and quicklime. And quicklime is just crafting wood ash. Okay. And I got plenty of wood ash over here, so that's easy. I'll just grab a little bit of this. Where's the wood ash? Right there. Grab a little bit of that. I'm sure I'll probably need more eventually, so we'll just do that. Let's see how that's coming along. Okay, cool. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And I've got the gold nugget. I need a mandrake root. Yes. And the white chalk. Okay. To make the gold one in the middle. And maybe we'll get our first one done. Um, something. I don't know. A, right, a binding or something like that. I don't know. Um, yeah. Come here, you annoying little bastard. There we go. All right. So we got mandrake root now. Go and plant some more mandrakes while we're at it. Okay. That stuff, that Spanish moss is going pretty quickly too. And maybe in the next episode we'll make a poppet of some sort. Um, slime balls. Three slime balls out of this too. Cool. Okay, so I got the oil of vitro. Let's go ahead and just stop that. Let's put the foul fume here and what was the other item? Come on, I can remember this without looking. Oh yeah, it was quicklime. Was that it? I think that was it. 
or I'm going to make something totally new and different right now. But I think that's why I did the quick live. What is this? A potash apple? Dark wood sapling? A chalkboard? Interesting. I don't know what any of those... What do these have to do with chalk? Oh, produces chalky apples. Tastes a little bit like chalk. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Because I typed in chalk. All right. So we can do our, like our first, first circle magic thing. <coughs> I want to do something. Um, hopefully I get at least two. Two? Two? I get one. And now I've got this oil of vitriol too. And another slime ball. Apparently slime is a byproduct of witchery. Who would have thunk? But look at this. We're starting to get a lot of fubes. They're like these little jars. We've got a whiff of magic. we got tear of the goddess. Breath of the goddess. Oil of vitriol. Foul fume. We're getting a lot of these. So I'm probably going to make a lot more um, from just like the regular sapping, saplings in the interim between this episode and next. And uh, we'll see what other fun stuff we can get going in the next episode. Because I have a feeling my next few episodes are definitely going to be like 100% concentrated on witchery. Because I've been so excited to get this back, and now I've got it. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay. So the chalk was the tear of the goddess. Oh, wait. I needed wood ash. And uh, it's over here. Uh, wood ash. Here we go. All right. So it was tear of the goddess. It was these two gypsums. And this wood ash like this, right? Yes. Okay, and that gives me two. Okay, cool. And then I need one of these to be gold. So I can do that over here. I'm going to turn you back to water. Where's water at? Water. There we go. And that was supposed to be... Come on. Start bubbling. There we go. Uh, a gold nugget. A mandrake root. And a chalk. And the colors seem to be working right. And then they stopped. Why did they stop? That's what it was, right? For gold? Mandrake root, a gold nugget, and ritual chalk. Gives me golden chalk. Did everything go in? Gold nugget. Um, mandrake root went in. And the white chocolate went in. Does this is this one of the ones that's gonna need power from like this altar? Do I need to do I need to move this altar over real quick? Let me try putting the altar right next to it for right now. I mean, I think this is close enough right here, right? This has to be close enough for either one of them, for the circle magic or for the I know distillery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And you go back there, and you go back there. And wow, a lot more power over here. I guess it's closer to some trees that I didn't have over there or something. Um, why is this not working? Let me look at brew. Uh, I got the book, right? The book should explain something to me. Um, I've got the brews book, and then there's another one brews and infusions. I think that's different. I think that's the kettle. Let me see. Um, brewing modifier dispersal effect uh, crafting okay um, the cauldron can be used to create or imbue items with magical properties if the suitable combination of ingredients is thrown into the cauldron the creation process will begin automatically use ritual circles to reduce power cost okay that's not a problem I can do that um, golden chalk here we go uh, the centerpiece of most rights yeah but it's not telling me why it's not doing it do I need more power I don't know is that is that what it is that I need more power I remember doing this before and the drop of luck was really expensive um, I think it tells you something too if like if something's wrong it gives you like a color chart. And I just did that. It gives you like a color chart if something's wrong. Brewing. 
cauldron rituals. There it is. Um, green, target too far. I don't have a target, so that's not it. So why is this not working? Hmm. I've got everything in there. It's on fire. This can't, I mean, this has to be close enough right here. There's no way that's not close enough. Um, let me, I don't know. Um, do I have any bone meal on me? I still have bone meal. Let's see if I bone meal around this thing, if this increases power and stuff. Hey, leave me alone, man. I want a bug in you. Does that increase power? A little bit. I don't know if this is a power deficit or what. Um, okay, I still have that. I've got gold. I've got chalk. So I can do one more and make a little bit more chalk. Which, if that's the case, let me get that started. Oh, I hate that with a passion. Do I have a bucket on me? I do have a bucket on me. Okay, um... What was it? It was Lapis and... What else did I need? Oh, Breath of the Goddess, right? Yes, and that's the one that gave me the foul fume and stuff like that. So I get the gypsum and stuff. Okay. I'm going to go and pick this up. Let me extinguish that. Can I? I can't do that from here. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and put... Oh, fire. Um, oh, you're in here. Wow, this is kind of annoying, actually. I would have figured it would have been good. What's this book? Another oh, which are how did I not notice that book? How did I not notice that? Um oh and clay jars. And where's my flint and steel? Ah, I got two right there. Okay. Okay, so let's try this again. So you're gonna light up. Put the cauldron right here. Hey, knock that off. We're gonna fill you up with water. Man, leave me alone. You know who you're messing with? <laughs> you're messing with Robo Witch here, man. Robo Witch. Okay, let's do this carefully. I'm going to jump up here to do it from here. So it was a mandrake root, a golden nugget, and the white chalk. Why is it not working? I don't get this. Um, okay, I'm actually going to pause real quick and do a little read-up on it, and I'm going to see what's going on. I will be right back. Okay, so it didn't take very long, and I found it, um, which I'm really kind of upset because the, the online wiki, like nothing, um, had anything about it. I literally had checked out a video, and it turns out that my altar power has to be all the way up to 2,800, and I'm only at 15 right now. So what I need to do is there's a couple things I can do. Um, I don't have any on me, do I? I need... Oh! Well, that was annoying. What is up with the creeper sauce around here? Uh, I'll fix it later. Um, I need to increase the power. And so I can put a head on the altar, which will increase the power, as well as a torch, apparently, increases the power. Or I don't know if it increases the power, but it might be another multiplier. I'm not 100% sure. But I know that those two things are going to help me get the uh, altar power up so we can actually get this golden chalk so let's go get those things um i know i mean there's quite a bit i was at what 1500 so not, not too far 1300 more <laughs> not too far i'm like barely halfway um but i know i can do i know i can throw a torch on there and um i'm gonna do a skeleton skull as well as a zombie head And I'm going to do a creeper head. I'm going to just put all these on there. I don't know if they all work or if only one works. Oh, good grief. Um, let me dump some of this down. I don't need you. I don't need the slime. I don't need the mushroom. I got some new chalk I made. I don't need the string. I don't need the bucket. I don't need the arrow or the... S I don't need the bricks. Oh, actually, yeah, that was part of my house. Um, that's good. I don't need the bone. I don't need the gunpowder. That should be good for right now. So we're going to go throw all these items on the altar. And hopefully, 
that will uh, increase the power enough that I can make this chalk. I'm a little bit bummed out because it doesn't tell you like unnecessary power needed. Because I mean, we looked at the book. If I look at the crafting recipe, it doesn't say a power necessity necessary. So that would be a great addition if they would have put that on there. But apparently, yeah, you need more. Wow, that's a lot of that glimmering stuff. Um, so let's go see. I don't know which ones do which. I don't know which ones like give what kind of power or whatever, but we'll figure it out. So I can put a torch on here like that. That does not, that, that actually reduced it. That's definitely not what I want to do. Um, let's see if I put the skull on here. That gets me up to 23. What if I add a head? Is that still just 23? But I think it looks cool, so I'm going to put them all on here anyways for right now. Um, I think that Arthana might help out. But I'm also going to try to add more uh, trees and stuff around here. Since I have all the saplings, as well as... I have some bone meal on me, right? Yeah, I do have some bone meal. So we're going to plant some trees over here and see if this helps. Because this is just kind of annoying. Um, I don't want jungle. Let's do spruce. There's a lot of spruce in this area. And you know what? I'm going to do a dark oak, too. Because I think a variety should work. Since obviously, if putting stuff on, not in variety is, you know, not helping, then I would assume that it probably wouldn't either. So we're going to do you... And we're going to make you big real quick. Does that help? Okay, now you're at 24. Um, what else can I do here? Can I put a... Does this one have to be in fours? I forget. This one might have to be in fours. This could be silly to do right now, but we'll see. Did that help? That helped! Okay, that's a 35, and the power's going up. So let's see once it gets to 28 if I get this chalk. 28. Did I get it? Is it? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, so that's all I needed. Interesting. All right. Well, we're going to get our first circle done then. Yay! Um, that is not going to stay like that. I guarantee you that. Okay. Um think this is the middle? No, nope, this is the middle. Okay. So we've got this golden chalk here. And then I don't remember. I know it's what, seven by seven. Let me where's my circle magic book? Uh, no! Come on, really? Where are these creepers coming from? I hate creepers with such a passion. Just blew up my chalk and everything. Um Man, that's really upsetting. Really, really upsetting. Can't catch a break. Let me just go get some dirt real quick. Oh, man, that's just really annoying. Like, super annoying. Alright, this is enough dirt to fill that in. I need to get my circle magic book to see the dimensions of the first circle. And see what we can do in the small white circle. Man, that was so annoying. Um, circle magic, there we go. There we go. Uh-huh. While I'm at it, let's patch up as much as we can. And, okay, circle magic book. So, back to the middle spot right here and right here. So, this is my middle. So, let's try that again. There we go. And circle magic is seven by seven, so it's three. Okay, so if it's seven by seven, this is one. So one, two, three. This should be it. So three and three. One, two, three and three. One, two, three and three. Three and three. And then connected by this middle one here. And then I should get a little sparkle of like red on this thing, right? Or that's the only one to turn it on. Okay, what can we do with this little guy right here? Um, 
<sighs> well, I don't want to just pull it in because I just want to. Uh, binding a waystone, okay? So I need a waystone, ender dew, and some glowstone dust. I got plenty of altar power. Binds a waystone to the location of the ritual. Okay, this might actually be my warping back and forth thing that'd be quicker. So waystone, ender dew, and glowstone dust. Um. Let's see what the recipes for those are. Uh, Waystone. Waystone's recipe is a bone needle and a flint, and a bone needle is with bone and a flint. Okay. And then what was the other thing I need? Ender do. Ender do. Um, I was just checking to make sure it was actually dust. Uh -huh. Ender do. Ender do. Is just an ender pearl. Okay, cool. Oh, it looks like a whole bunch. And a little bit of whiff of magic, too. Cool. All right, so we can do this. So we can make a waystone. And uh, I believe waystones give you the ability to, like, warp around. So we can just try our first one just to see if our magical powers are working right. So I just need to grab an ender pearl and um, some bone and a flint. And we should be good to go. All right, so bone, got plenty of that. Uh, was it flint? Got one of them there, and an ender pearl. I've got plenty of those. All right, bone, flint, ender pearl. All right, so that was a weird break. All of a sudden, uh, the game just shut down. So let's try that again. Uh, flint and bone will give us these bone needles. Oh, I'm gonna need one more flint. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Um, yeah, that was just weird. Like, the whole game just crashed and shut down. Flippers. Interesting. And so this should give us our waystone, right? Okay, so you and you. Alright, cool. We have a waystone now. Sweet. And we take that. And I got my ender pearl, right? Yes, I do. Okay, cool. So let's go try to make a waystone. Hopefully we have enough uh, power. I don't see it needed a lot, but who knows. And we'll just try a little magic out before we uh, wrap this episode up. Because we got a lot done. A lot done. And the episode went a lot longer than I had intended. And, uh, man, get off the book. There we go. All right, um, so you, do I have more clay jars in there? Yes, I do, cool. So I was, man, my inventory just fills up so quickly. Uh, nonsense, I don't need the flint. I don't need the dandelion. I don't need these right now. I don't need rotten flesh for sure. Um, that's enough room for right now, so. I'm gonna take you and then just throw the ender pearl in there and we'll get this ender dust or whatever it was called. Ender something. Throw those in there, and we should get our very first Ender Dew. Ender Dew, that was what it was called. Ender Diamond? While we're waiting, what does an Ender Diamond do? Um, ender Diamond is made like that, and it's used to make an uh, energy distributor. Okay. That's it. It just makes an energy distributor. It takes four of them. maybe look into that whole bunch of interdew and with a magic cool all right so I believe all we have to do is throw them all in so you the ender do and what else was it come on I can remember this it was the waystone ender do and ah, I don't remember darn it um, but my circle magic book's in my hand, so. Oh, glowstone dust. Oh, and I don't have any glowstone dust. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, I need to figure out a way to bring a, a healthy inventory over here. I might, in between this episode and next episode, actually just bring a whole bunch of useful materials and witchery over and put them in that chest, so that way I have everything that I don't think about or won't think to, like, you know, have normally. Uh, let's go glow, go grab some glowstone real quick. Or glowstone dust, I should say. Either way, it 
all works out the same way. Glowstone dust. There we go. Just grab a couple of those. There we go. And now we should have everything we need to do to make our first waystone. And then um, I know eventually with the witch's hand you could use it to like warp around and stuff like that. So that'd be cool. And uh, we'll get infused and all that fun stuff. But I just want to do my first bit of circle magic. So let's see if we can succeed right here. Jump over. Yay. Okay. So jump over here and throw you in there. Okay. You're all in. And I just right click, right? Okay. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. And now we have a waystone. A bound waystone to this location. Now. I don't know what bound waystones are necessarily good for, but um, I don't know if they. I don't. Know if you have to do another right or whatever. But hey, we got a bound waystone, so we know the circle works. The altar is up and going and has uh, it's almost 3,500 in power, so we're good there. That's going. The distillery is going. We got a lot done in this episode, so I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. And then uh, in the next episode, we'll get going on some more fun stuff. Uh, maybe get to some like more extreme stuff if I can get it all ready. Uh, maybe rebuild my house since Creepers wanted to blow it up. But anyways, um, until next time, guys, I'm Slider Havoc. This is our Revenge of the Sea Team server, and I'm out of here. Peace.